All power, glory, and honor to your Hebrew Bar, Shami Havashai. Double honors to the elders of GMS for showing me this great truth. And shalom and salutations to my brothers on the four corners pumping out this truth with sincerity, long suffering, and longevity. Um, what I'm about to get into is um, the fear of the Lord. All right, so um, I'm just going to go through uh, some of these precepts. This is Exodus chapter 9, verse 30. But as for thee and thy servants, now when he's talking about thee, he's talking about the Israel, the Israelites, all right? But as for thee and thy servants, I know that ye will not yet fear the Lord's power, all right? So two-thirds of our of our brethren do not fear the Most High, all right? They were not, and when you go into these churches, you're not taught to fear the Most High. You're taught to just love them. That's all he is, is love. But we're going to get into the fear, all right? This is Deuteronomy 6 and 2. That thou mightest fear the Lord thy power to keep all his statutes and his commandments which I command thee, thou and thy son and thy son's son, all the days of thy life, and that thy days may be prolonged. Deuteronomy 6.13 Thou shalt fear the Lord thy power and serve him and shalt swear by his name. Deuteronomy 6 and um, 24 and the Lord commanded us to do all these statutes to fear the Lord our power for our good for our good always that he might preserve us alive as it is at this day and that's the only reason why we're still alive all right we're alive because of the covering of Yahweh Shai and because one third and 144,000 of the, of the Israelites we fear Yahweh Ba Shai all right that's the only reason why we're alive Deuteronomy 10 and 12. And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord thy power require of thee but to fear the Lord thy power, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul? Now, ain't the same thing that um, Yahweh Shai, who the world even called Jesus Christ, says? That that wraps up the whole law? That was in what? Deuteronomy 10 and 12. And I will read it again. All right. And now, Israel. What doeth the Lord thy power require of thee, but to fear the Lord thy power, to walk in all his ways, and to love him. Now, the first beginning of, um, the beginning of his love is to fear him. All right, we get that in the Apocrypha. And to serve thy Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Deuteronomy 10 and 20. Thou shalt fear the Lord thy power, him shalt thou serve. And to him shalt thou cleave and swear by his name. All right. Um, Deuteronomy 14 and 23. And thou shalt eat before the Lord thy power in the place which he shall choose to place his name there. The tithe of thy corn, of thine wine, and of thine oil, and the, first, and the firstlings of thy herds, and of thy flocks, that thou mayest learn to fear, that thou mayest learn to fear the Lord thy power always. All right? So you got to learn how to fear the Most High. Most people, you don't know how to fear the Most High because you were never taught. All right? You were just taught how to love. And then y'all don't even know the, the, the proper love, man. Y'all think that love is this worldly love. Love is the commandments. And the commandments um, you should fear because if you don't do the commandments correctly, then you know that your Father, who are in heaven, is going to discipline you just like your Father on earth disciplines you. All right? <clears throat> Deuteronomy 17, 19. And it shall be with him, he shall read therein all the days of his life, that he may learn to fear the Lord his power, to keep all the words of his law and these statutes to do them. Deuteronomy 31 and 12, and gather the people together, men and women and children, and thy stranger that is within thy gates, that they may hear, and that they may learn, and fear the Lord thy power, and observe to do all the words of this law. Deuteronomy 31 and 13, and that their children, which have not known anything, like your children out there, your children don't know shit about the Most High, man. All right. And that their children, which have not known anything, may hear and learn to fear the Lord thy power, as long as ye live in the land, whether ye go over Jordan to possess it. All right. Now we're no longer in the land of Israel. Being kicked, we got kicked out. All right. But in order for us to get back into our land and our rest, he says we need to go back and to fear Him. 
and to bow ourselves before Yahweh Ba Shami Yahweh Shai, and that's facing the east and putting our head to the towards the earth, all right, and praising the name and humbling yourselves before a great king, all right. And this is uh, Joshua chapter 4, verse 24. That all the people of the earth might know the hand of the Lord, that it is mighty, that ye may fear the Lord your power forever. Joshua 24 and 14. Now therefore fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth. Ain't that what we say? In sincerity and in truth. And put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt and serve ye the Lord. Now putting away all those other gods is... Stop thinking about basketball. Stop thinking about the football game. Stop thinking about uh, your American idols. Stop thinking that your job is going to help you in in the long run when it's really not. All right, your job is a temporary thing. Those those you know playing basketball that's temporary, man. You shouldn't be putting your whole heart into that. You should put your whole heart into Yahweh Ba Shami Yahweh Shai's word in spirit and in truth. All right, in sincerity and in truth. <laughs> All right, this is um, 1 Samuel chapter 12, verse 14. If ye will fear the Lord and serve him and obey his voice and not rebel against the commandment of the Lord, then shall ye slack him, then shall both ye and also the king that reigneth over you continue, continue following the Lord your power. All right? So you can't rebel against the commandments, man. If the Most High says to do this, you got to do it. All right, and rebellion is part of witchcraft. All right, not as rebellion. If you if you're a re you're a rebel against the Most High, then you're I, you're actually practicing witchcraft. Mm -hmm. This is First Samuel 12 and 24. Only fear the Lord and serve Him in truth with all your heart, for consider how great things He hath done for you. This is First Kings 18 and 12. And it shall come to pass as soon as I am gone from thee, that the Spirit of the Lord shall carry thee, whether I know not. And so when I come and tell Ahab, and he cannot find thee, he shall slay me. But I, thy servant, fear the Lord from my youth. All right? Now, you have to teach your children to fear the Most High in their youth so that they won't stray from the, they won't stray from the faith. All right? But if, how can you teach your children about it if you don't fully know about it? Therefore, it goes right back to that man. All right? This is not shots at women. These are shots at men. Men for the most high. For the men is the head. And if the head gets in order, then he puts that woman in order. And that woman and that man can also put their children in order. So when that man's out that house, that woman has authority and she has it in the order of her husband because her husband has the order of Yahweh Ba Shami Yahweh All right? Um, this is um, 2 Kings 4.1. Now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead, and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord. And the Creator is come to take unto him my two sons to be bondmen. All right? So even if you fear the Lord, things still may happen to you. More than likely, because you fear the Lord, more things are going to happen to you. All right? And then that's a fact, man. The deeper you get in, the more persecutions. That's that's part of the scriptures, man. So the scriptures, so the Most High's word will not be blasphemed. And that's why you have to eat the entire roll. All right? Second Kings 17 and 28. Then one, of the, then one of the priests whom they had carried away from Samaria came and dwelt in Bethel and taught them how to slack it and taught them how they should fear the Lord. How they should fear the Lord. All right? You need to be taught how to fear the Lord, which I already said. This is Psalms 15 and 4. In whose eyes a vile person is contempt, contempt, but he honoreth them that fear the Lord, he that swear to his own hurt and changeth not. All right? So the Most High honors those that fear him. All right? This is Psalms 22 and 23. Ye that fear the Lord, praise him. And ye, the seed of Jacob, glorify him and fear him. All ye, the seed of Jacob. All right. I'm going to let y'all see that one. Right. This is Psalms 22 and 23. Ye that fear the Lord, praise him. All ye, the seed of Jacob, 
glorify him and fear him, all ye the seed of Israel. All right? So the seed of Jacob, the seed of Israel. All right? And they're just, and that's one and the same. All right? <laughs> you just have to do it that way. This is Psalms 33 and 8. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. Psalms 34 9. O fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. Alright? This is Psalms 115 and 11. Ye that fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. Alright? Remember the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous is safe and run into it. Alright? Um, this is Psalms 115 and 13. He will bless them that fear the Lord both small and great, all right? So that means the, your, your children that don't know too much about it, if they fear, if you teach them how to fear the Lord, he will bless them, all right? And the great, the um, um, the elders, the elders, the um, your, um, your grandparents, all right? Now that was just a, in a carnal. Now, in the spiritual, he's also talking about the ones that's feeble and young in the spirit and the ones that's like the elders of GMS that we play double honors to. You know, he, he's blessed them. And their blessing is us. We are the fruit. All right? Um, this is Psalms 118-4. Let them now that fear the Lord say that his mercy endureth forever. All right? This is Psalms 135 and 12. Bless the Lord, O house of Levi, ye that fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Alright? This is Proverbs 3 and 7. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Okay? This is Jeremiah 5 and 24. Neither say they, Slackia, uh, neither say they in their heart, let us now fear the Lord, our power that giveth rain, both the former and the latter, in his season, he reserveth unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest. All right? So you have to have it within your heart and within your mind to fear the Most High. All right? And this is Jeremiah 26 and 19. Did Hezekiah, king of Judah, and all of Judah put him at all to death? Did he not fear the Lord and besought the Lord? And the Lord repented him of the evil which he had pronounced against him. Thus my reproof procure great evil against our souls alright because you gotta you gotta stand firm even when the most high uh, uh, chastens you because he's a buckler to every person that he receives and just because you're part of this thing don't mean that ain't nothing gonna happen to you more than likely because you're a part of Yehovah Shai Yehovah Shai more things are going to happen to you mm -hmm. alright because that's the most high testing you to see if your faith is going to be true to him or are you going to fall out and right, this is Hosea chapter 3 verse 5. After shall the children of Israel return and seek the Lord their power and David their king and shall fear the Lord and his goodness in the latter days, which are the days that we're in right now. That's why I say you must fear the Lord. And this is um, John chapter 1 and 9. And he said unto them, I am a Hebrew and I fear the Lord, the power of heaven, which I made the sea and the dry land. All right. So that's why we are Hebrew Israelites telling not only other Hebrew Israelites, but everybody in the world, that you actually can get a form of salvation if you humble yourselves under the Israelites. And not just because a person is an Israelite, but a person that's an Israelite for Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, in spirit and in truth. And you will know if they're doing it in the spirit and in truth by their works. All right? Be prudent, therefore. All right? Because the Most High has given the knowledge unto the babes, but He also given. Um, certain wisdom to the ones who are being prudent. Why? Because they're searching out. Alright? So all power, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba'a Shami Habashai. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone for showing me this great truth. And Shalawam and salutations to my brothers on the four corners pumping out this truth with sincerity and suffering, with long suffering. Shalawam, Akiyam.